Aries, and welcome to your weekly coffee cup reading. This is a reading for the week of October 11th, general and quick. Well, I got a lot of numbers. I'll give you the numbers at the end of the reading. Uh, communication and speaking um, with the universe, I want to say, um, guidance, and that is showing up. For some, what I'm seeing is an example is you want to do readings on YouTube or something, okay? And you're trying to receive more intuitive messages or you wish to be a little bit more intuitive or understand your intuition um, and trying to speak to spirit guides or things like that. So I do see that energy. What you need to do is quiet your mind and... Notice the messages, and this is from nature. Nature sometimes gives us messages. The signs are out there, and also your surroundings. For others, it's like you're trying to understand your intuition. For others, this has also got to do with um, just in general communication, okay? Maybe wanting to communicate with someone, or you're thinking what someone else is thinking. So communication is kind of coming up strongly here for Aries, um, I do see this as a week of um, big endings, transformative energy, um, something is dead, gone, it's moving forward. But this creates some kind of emotions, but it does create for some of you appreciating, you know, the things that we have. Sometimes we take things for granted and, you know, that's human nature. We do. It's like there every day. The simplest little things. We just, you know, take for granted till it disappears. So there is that energy for some of you. Um, you know, life is precious and all the moments mean something. So appreciating and uh, counting out blessings is really important. Uh, for some of you, um, you're more, I see that too. You're just more appreciated um, that you than you know. And that's going to create like, oh, wow, um, really appreciate it. You know what I mean? So... There is that energy. Before you assume that you are not appreciated or you're not getting that tap on the back, proceed with caution, okay? Because one, I see big endings anyway, very transformative energy. So, yeah. For some of you, I do see a lot of memories of the past is coming up. And this could be reminiscing the past, reminiscing childhood moments, sweet moments, uh, siblings, people you grew up with. Um, there is that kind of energy. Okay. Childhood. I don't know. I'm just giving you all these examples. Um, for some of you, you're going back to the good old times or you're like, okay, I had so many opportunities then and things like that. I see new opportunities anyway, coming through or some kind of connection with the past. If you want to reach out or connecting with people that kind of are familiar. I don't know. There is that energy. Um, but action is required. You can't just talk it, think it, wish it. You have to do it. So less talky, more walky. <laughs> okay. Things like that. So I do see that kind of energy as well. For some of you, you may be returning to the past, like where you grew up, visiting, moving back home. There is a lot of that kind of energy. You know, it's a general reading. Now, I do see some positive changes with home. The energy of jealousy or envy is surrounding you. Either this is being envious, you know, someone has what you want, like a relationship or a home, or this is, it's a general reading. Others on the side thinking, oh, why is she complaining? Why is he complaining? Whatever. She, he has a good job. She, he has a home. She, he, you know, I'm seeing that energy. There's envy that is surrounded here. And for some of you, this could be in a relationship. Okay. Um, this is, um, taking a relationship to maybe another level as well. Uh, you're on the right path, okay? Especially with kind of building your foundations here and the dynamics here, creation. Some of you feel very, very tied up and stuck. And for others, you are really just trapping yourself into thoughts of the past, into your own situations, 
you know, sometimes we just complain, you know, I don't have this, I don't do, or I can't do this. But we have to kind of um, do something about it. You know, it's like, it's almost, you're holding yourself back for some of you. Now, some of you may be breaking free and say, okay, that's it, I got to do this. But kind of do, you know, don't make any impulsive decision. Or, you know, it's like think things through first too. Now, I do see a lot of hope here. A lot of you are dwelling into prayer, hope, and trying to make these affirmations. And I do see wishes coming through. Now, you may be sent little breadcrumbs from the universe to show you that you're on the right path. You know, when you kind of say, oh, if this happens or whatever, then I'm on the right path. You know, something realistic or whatever. So there are like little sparks of miracles or something. Know that some delays definitely are still in your favor here. So I do see that energy. Uh, you're just kind of overwhelmed and cautious this week, I want to say. For some of you, this is um, great for artists, uh, musicians, uh, theater. I like that energy. You are, this is like a new opportunity, a new job, a new beginning. You're just a little cautious. You're, you're kind of worried about it. Um, for some of you, may get a job in the entertainment field or something to do with music. Maybe you become a music teacher. Um, maybe you join a, a band or something like that. But. What I'm seeing here is this is like a new beginning, new financial beginning, a new career on its path here, or vocation, okay? Something is opening up a value for you too, okay? Now, for some of you, it's like this is money worries, or you have insecurities, or you're dealing with disappointments instead of pushing forward. Um, what I'm seeing here, you need to kind of balance, you know, balance yourself, your yin and yang, and... Follow your intuition and have faith things are going to work out because I do see good energy here. This, these are blessings coming in. Some things are blessings in disguise because from disappointments, I see a new emotional path. A lot of love, whoops, a lot of love surrounds you as well, okay? Um, for some of you, this is like you're kind of done with some things from the past, reminiscing the past, but you're moving away from it. You're walking away. You're starting a new path. You don't know where you're going, but it is something you kind of like walking finally away from something okay now i do see a decision that needs to be made this could be also future travel plans or making some plans to travel before you do book in any tickets or before um anything like that you make a decision make sure you know what you're getting into okay um because there can be either something's overpriced or something. There's a little bit of weird energy with it. For others of you, this could be dealing with some kind of a contract um, or an agreement or a legal document. Whatever it is, make sure it's fair, read the disclaimers, things like that. Because I do see here maybe someone wants to take advantage of you or you're being used a little. You know what I mean? So make sure... You know, so you don't feel that way later. So I'm seeing that kind of energy too, okay? You got some choices and decisions you're, you're going to be moving forward too. So with more confidence, I like that. All right, um, Aries. Um, numbers that will come into play this week somehow. You got a lot. 23, 6, 4, 17, Nine, five, eight, and two. Wow. All right, Aries, that is your reading for the week of October 11th. I hope you have a wonderful week. I did post the October monthlies. If you didn't see those, um, if you didn't already see that, you can go check it out. And have a great week. I will see you. Oh, and seven, another number, seven, it's faint. That's right, that's where the changes were. I will catch you back here next week for your next Coffee Cup reading. Until then, all the best and bye for now.